The first day I walked in, the first thing I noticed was how small it was. There's like 30 people who work here who are setting the direction for the entire US government and in that way, the entire world. I feel like we should have a clock with the days counting down because what we have set in motion, all of that is at stake. Syria, Libya, North Korea, climate change. We have about as full of an agenda as any administration has ever had. Each of us brings something to the table, informed by our history, by our experience, by our background. I'm always feeling a sense of urgency to try to get as much done as possible. You're sitting here and you're realizing the stakes. All right, let's do this. What's happening in Syria is beyond frustrating. It was a dark, devastating day. I will never stop trying to stop the war if there's a chance of finding a way forward. People need to be the center of our foreign policy thinking. What Russia has done is wrong. Is there nothing that can shame you? You know, she sustains that original idealism around our ability to save lives and make things better. I sit close to the president. He has to think about, how am I going to measure this against every other priority I have in the world? We've got to make sure it'll be harder to dismantle in the event that we take a, a different turn. And I just came outside to try to process all this. It's a lot to, a lot to process. History really doesn't follow a straight line. It zigs and zags. The trend lines, ultimately, will be in the direction of a less violent, more empathetic, more generous world. That requires individuals fighting for that future. I still believe the most important office in any country is not president or prime minister. The most important title is citizen. We got a pacifier that fell and could pose a danger to the president. There you go.